What's up, nerds? How we living? Yes, indeed. Welcome to a fresh day with Poop, and it's me again. Certainly hope it's all going well on your end. I do care about your well-being. But yes, things have gone slightly haywire at the old P.O. Box plays recently. That's Box 55, One Hadley Street, Nottingham, NG, 15BL, United Kingdom. Ugh. It's like every time I go there, there's a huge stack of gear from you lot to the point that it's actually becoming quite difficult to get it all home. So what do you say we chew through a few today? And for today, I've rounded up a collection of conspicuously Japanese-looking boxes. Like, I've got one from Ami Ami. Fairly large one here from Mandarake. Is it Mandarake or Mandaragi? Escapi the Pakagi. And a conspicuously shaped Jiffy bag, which I would be utterly stunned if it had anything in it other than a gunpla. So what do you say let's get our weave on? I've got my Dragon Ball shirt just for the occasion. It's a guy like me who enjoys Japanimation. Right, so it looks like this has come directly from Japan, straight from the supplier. Don't know who sent it. Might be a note. But last time I got one of these, there wasn't, so I might have to guess. Yep, shock, it's a Gundam. I haven't got my... Where's my sharp thing? Pulling it apart like a friggin' ape. I've got tools, like an evolved mammal. Ooh, this looks uh, extremely garish. Whoa, okay. So we have a HG, Universal Century, Hyaku Shiki, okay. MSN, well, like pre-Skype. Trey Regal, boy oh boy, that is some royal Gundam action. Gimmick, it says, it's not shy. What's that doing? I can't really tell what's that supposed to say. Has he got light piping or something going on with his eyes? I can't really tell, we'll have to find out together one day, won't we? I'm gonna have to chuck one of these together pretty soon. I've got the itch to do a build again. Just wanna get some more reviews out before I start hitting you with builds. I really wanna do that Kabea Diatlas next. But uh, this thing is looking extraordinarily glamorous. Hayaku Shiki or Hyaku, I don't know. Who's this in the back here? Is that like Emerald Weapon or something? Uh, but yes, not sure who this is from. It hasn't said, unless there's anything. So I don't imagine there'll be a thing in here. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! That's a shiny treat. I hope that'll be all right. I'm sure they've sort of uh, perfected the gold plastic formula by now, I would hope. But yes, don't know who this is from, it doesn't say anywhere, so if it was you what sent me this figure, then thank you very much. Super, that was easy. Now then, we have uh, a package from Ami Ami, which uh, may or may not be related to what's actually in there. So this is from Dave in Canada, it says Toys Candy Comics, and it's uh, mighty heavy for what it is. So I'm assuming it's gonna be loaded with paper and plastic and sugar. Yes, it's Dave Undrave, we had one from him before, didn't we? Howdy hoser, he decided to play into the stereotype this day, me. Uh, some connect Canadian stuff I don't understand. I'm trying to slim down my collection and I've got a few pieces I think you'll enjoy, so I'm chucking them your way, eh? I also threw in some fun oddities in there to try not to overwhelm you with sugar this time, eh? Sorry, a boot last time. <laughs> I included a little surprise for your Power of the Primes Abominus. Best of luck with review 200. Oh, this one's from a couple of weeks ago, okay. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice. Is that, a, is that a hockey thing? I will. Go puck yourself. Sorry. Your Canadian friend, Dave Martin, AKA Undrave. What a legend. He's back. He's back in the house. Oof. Okay, so what is that? I think that is a, oh my God. Fat little blackout. That's amazing. It's like a bot bot of blackout. This has got to be a tiny turbo changer, right? There you go. Who needs studio series? Who needs Black Mamba? That doesn't even spin. It's just for show. I kind of love these tiny turbo changers because they're so shit, but they're like really lovable. Why, well, yes, I am impressed by everything. Thanks for checking. Ooh, a couple of comics. We have a uh, Spotlight Ramjet. Wow, okay. Jeepers Creepers, that brings me back. I never had any of the uh, individual issues of these. I always bought the trades. Back in the day, I had like the first couple of uh, volumes of this. But yeah, this was all right, man. There's a lot of... Uh, very Skywarp heavy, this issue. Wonderful classic 06 design of old Ramjet. And doesn't he just get his ass kicked in this? I mean, spoilers for a comic from 15 years ago, but it does not end well for poor Ramjet. And we have Spotlight Grimlock, no less. This was sort of a mid-period one. I think this was like pre-Maximum Dinobots. I couldn't get through that one. I didn't enjoy it. That was kind of when it ran out of steam for me. Yeah, I kind of tired of it at that point, and I only jumped on sort of mid more than meets the eye, but I think this one was all right, right? But it's kind of cool to see this era of the artwork again. Never did the animated comics. Were they good? I missed it completely. <laughs> Spotlight Cyclonus. Oh yeah, Revelation. I bought the trade of Revelation and it was a bit of a confused mess. That's right. It was all a bit sort of rushed. It really felt like they were just hurrying it along to like wrap up the whole Thurman thing. But yeah, plenty of time for the older uh, EJ Sue artwork. There was something about it, man. It had a certain sort of physicality and kinesis to it. God, I sound like an arsehole. <laughs> but it did, it's good, it's good. Beautiful, thank you. 
So what else do we have? Ooh, hello. Is this Beast Hunter's Prowl? Cool, look at this. God, what a sweet car mode. <laughs> Speaking of physicality and kinesis, look at this bitch. God, that's got some drama to it, isn't it? But I hear this thing has some legendary light piping on the go. This is a repaint of smokescreen, isn't it? I've got, I do have the smokescreen, but I've never managed to transform it. Dare I attempt this? Jesus. That is a bit much, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> For a deluxe. Beer all flipping day. Beast Hunter's Prowl. Finding it hard to get on board with Siege Prowl. He doesn't look very good. I mean, I'm hoping against hope that it'll look better in hand, but uh, it's not looking good. <laughs> anyway, this small green pal, we have a tiny uh, R.I.D. Grimlock. Oh, there's something really fun about um, R.I.D. Grimlock. Because he's just so simple and chunky and like the black and green really suits him. Because like the definitive Grimlock's always going to be the, the G1 sort of grey and yellow one. But it definitely has a certain something, you know. I'd like to see this as sort of a long-term secondary outfit, like Player 2 outfit for Grimlock. Much more so than the movie one at least, like that terrible caramel flavour. Because like, what's not to love? He's a little black and green dino. He's chunky and friendly. He's only little, but it's kind of nice to have some representation of this Grimlock in the collection. Beautiful. Much appreciated. Lovely. Salted caramel Kit Kat chunky. Lovely stuff. Just save that for a treat later on. I am Elemental. Elemental action figure. I don't recognize these. Uh, this is a new one on me. Let's see which uh, positive emotion we have in the bag. Warning. Too powerful for children under four. Come on. Uh, a, little, a little pouch. I am elemental. Uh, we have some kind of vaguely Deadpool-y looking at the, the black mask on red. This looks like Deadpool. So who is this fiery lass? Do, do, do the second one down. This is energy. This is the energy lady. There we are. She does have elbows, just about. Some bit of knee action. There you go. Uh, we've got some playing cards. Not a... Oh, these are the same, okay. Energy approaches life with excitement and does not do things halfway. She has the ability to control electrical impulses. What franchise is this? Is this like an independent thing? Play with power, it's called. Oh, look at this, okay. So they've got the long game planned out. They're gonna do a whole periodic table of action figures. We've got this whole range of like positive emotion people. Bravery, energy, honesty, industry, enthusiasm, persistence, and fear. So is fear a baddie or is she just hella scary? Is that the Rosa Diaz of the gang? She does look a little bit like she's mid-fatality there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to ruin it. This is good. I'm down. It's a nice little figure. It seems like a cool little independent venture with a positive message for the young'uns. So that's IamElemental.com. Not bad. 2014. Oh, I wonder how they got on. They're probably huge now. I'm just like so locked in this transformery bubble. Oh, jeepers. What are we doing here? I am thoroughly perplexed. What is that? Whoa, okay. I'm getting a trans metal -y vibe from this, but I don't think it is one. Uh, this appears to be a two-parter. A fabulously colored thingy. Uh, anyone know what that is? Well, we did say we'd be getting our weave on, but do not recognize this at all. La -da 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 -da. What the fucking hell is this? Am I nuts? There's no head, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. This, this thing does not have a head. You're an angel witch. No, there it is. Got him. Got he. Whoa, who is this? It looks like that, uh, that fracture guy from R.I.D. But also extremely Megatronic. There we go. There we are. Now we're talking. Look at this beast. Oof, doesn't feel great. <laughs> feels a little cheapo. Feels a bit like a construct bot. Jeebus, that is something else. There you go, that's the actual feet. It's like he's got little 420 knees. I love it. Right, let's see if I can get this dragon situation on the go. It doesn't seem too complex. This is basically like a Megatron second cousin, isn't it? Yeah, cheeky parts forming for the sake of the uh, horrendous dragon beast. Whee, look at that. <laughs> Goofy freaking thing. What a freaking mess that is. God, I kind of love it though. It has a certain trans metal beast hunter's charm for sure. But like low budget and really naff. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Absolutely dumb as rocks. Okay, are we in agreement that this is like sort of amazing? I completely love the colors. What is this? Can anyone read this? Do a cheeky freeze frame and fill me in later? No idea. He's my new friend. I'm going to name him Wyvern Troyer. There you go. Let's see what else we got. Squish. Squish candies. Cuba Libre. Oh, they're like not actually alcoholic, but the flavor of a cocktail. It's a little bit, uh, that's pretty Buffett. I'm down. Aruba, Jamaica. Come on, let's give one of these a try. Uh, what's Cuba Libre? It's rum, something. Oh, God. <laughs> they smell amazing. Come on, then. 
It just tastes like a Haribo. That's disappointing. Rum and cola flavor. Well, there you go. They just taste like a cola cube. Still not unpleasant. I shall enjoy these later. Uh, snacks. Crispy Crunch. Living in the garden with Grandma. Dairy Milk Oreo. That's so filthy. Uh, oh, I recognize this. I had a knockoff of this. Uh, this feels like a different knockoff of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a knockoff. Yeah, this is a, um, one of those knockoff dinos. It destroyed my brick in the process. <laughs> oh, God, it's really stiff as well. No. It's like, that just came off. This is way too stiff. Mingin. Girl, I want. Hey, hello. Some kind of smoke screen. This looks like the Beast Hunters car form, but as smoke screen. All right, then. No idea how this works. Here we go. We got feet. It's got door wings. Christ, how does it work, though? Never touched this before. Can you tell? That's why she's out. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, it's kind of an automorph. Hey, there you go. Right, right, got it, got it, got it. How does one clip this in? Does it just clip into one of the wheel grooves? Ah, oh, there we are. It's near enough, isn't it? God, what wonderful colours. Look at that deep blue. Very nice. 38. Almost there, I think. We have a, um... Jesus Christ, sealed? Hunt for the Decepticon Sunspot? Anyone remember when this came out? We called it, um, Sky Banana. Because we were so funny. But he certainly has a delicious sort of banana vanilla flavored appeal. Like a Muller corner. Oh, Sky Banana. Was that ever funny? It was for a bit to us. That's a bot bot, isn't it? Yeah, totally. That's a definite bot bot. I want to say his name's Game Over or uh, Skiller, Skill Killer or something. I don't know. I'll look it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's got little shutter shades. What a legend. Oh, that's too perfect. I love it. Thank you, Dave. This, I believe, is uh, Spring Load. Yep, there it is. It's Spring Load. He's the man who's a truck, who's a frog, who's not a man. There he is. Whoa. <laughs> Super. We love this fella. He's so weird. <laughs> God, he's, pre he's pretty vicious looking, isn't he, for a, for a little frog fella? Frogs don't have teeth like that, do they? Is he a frog? Have I just assumed that? He's more of a little dino bloke with a masculine eye definer. He's very stylish. We appreciate him. Truck fella. I think I recognize this. He's one of those R.I.D. Not legends, not a minicon, whatever they are. But he's a little digger man with a giant fist. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Something rather uh, Omega Supreme about that, isn't there? With his little stumpy legs. He's like the War for Cybertron guy. He's got one special hand and these things coming up. I don't even know if that's how they go, but <laughs> it'll do, wouldn't it? What is this guy's name? Power Drive. Something something generic, I'm certain. A little boxed thing. It says food. God, all right, I'm popping this open. This looks amazing. Trying not to destroy the box totally. It's not going great. It is what it said on the box. I thought it'd be blind pack. So the actual toy is an ice cream cone that somehow is not a knockoff or a bot bot if you can believe such a thing there is an actual toy that's an ice cream cone whoa look at that does it does it spin do, we, do you just do that there you go oh he's got tiny feet and we plug this thing into here so it's just a little ice cream cone that turns into like a like a maser gun or whatever that is. Looks like it's part of a set of three. It's Bandai, so it's official. It's not a knockoff or anything weird. But like, oh, look at that. It's It can be a little drill thing. Okay. Why the? <laughs> Why is it one? It's the kind of thing that somebody saw and thought, I know who'd like that. And you were correct. If anyone can read that, I don't know. Endless, weird, fascinating stuff. Oh, no way. It's Masters of the Universe. Look at this. Okay, so we've got two of these. And there are only three in the series. Skeletor, He-Man, Beast-Man. What's the bet and we get two Beast-Mans? Or Beast-Men? If you like making love to midnight. Okay, we have a tiny hot pink Skeletor. Little monster in my pocket type Skeletor man. And a shiny sticker, like from a Panini sticker album. Look at that. So we have a pink Skeletor and Camper's Christmas hot pink Jello mold He Man. How's it going, bro? Why though? Geek Fuel exclusive. What's Geek Fuel? Is that one of those vitamin supplements that those InfoWars weirdos are always drinking? And finally, for this box, we have a Transformers Rescue Box blind packed item. 16 to collect. I wonder who we'll get. Uh, okay, is this. I think this is Boulder, right? I'm ashamed to say I don't really know the cast of Rescue Bots. Hey, that's on Netflix. Might check that out next. Tried watching that Love, Death and Robots. Wasn't into it. All felt a bit try hard. So much swearing. It's like, oh, you've got to make it mature. Just have them drop an F-bomb every line. So we've got the Robo Bard with his daft friggin' <laughs> rhino feet. And we slap the arms into this sort of barbell shaped joint. And it would seem they are not having any of it. God, what an awkward pose. He can go like that, go, yeah, punch you. Or he can like, that's his chilled out mode, just 
struggling with some heavy machinery. Ooh, a bit of a drill theme on the go, okay. But yeah, I could give Rescue Bots a shot next. See what the crack is. Finally catch up on some 2014 media. It is basically research. So that was quite the dense little box. Cheers, Dave. So we have Rescue Bots Boulder. Those two little um, He-Man Skeletor things. Oh my God. Spring load. Ice cream drill man. The crispity crunch and the Oreo. Good Christ. Bot Bot. Bot Bot, whoever this is with the old shutter shades. Love it. Little uh, Odiga Supreme. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. A Kit Kat. Flipping boxed sunspot. That's amazing. Dying a baby smoke screen, terrible T-Rex boy, squish, beast hunters prowl, baby grimlock, baby blackout, energy lady, dragon thing, and some comics. Oh my god. How did this all go in that box? There's no way it's going back in. Oh, we need a little break after that, my god. But yes, thank you Dave, Andrave, you always spoil my entire ass off. Now then, let's get into this Mandariki Pakagi. So this, it would appear, has come from the Netherlands. Good old Holland and Canada are always sending me the good stuff. So not one clue who this is from or what it is. Here we go then. Dear few, I've been following your channel for many years now. Your videos always bring a smile to my face because they're informative and amusing and I love puns. Way The triple! The item in this box has been in my collection for a while but no longer has a place there due to changing objectives. I hope it finds a good home with you. Kind regards from your loyal follower Wilco Van Winden. That's a familiar name. P.S. I wanted to include some Stroop waffles but I don't want to wreck your diet. Thank you. I'm not doing very well. Got all these Oreos and Crispy Crunch and that. I mean thanks Dave but if there's one thing I'm okay for its calories. So let's see what Mr. Van Winden has popped in this very tall box. Holy crap, all right then. <laughs> cool. We have Make Toys Cupola. I think I handled one of these. Uh, yes, I did, I'm sure I did. I had a go on one of these at TF Nation. I think it was John's one, John from Scotland. Borders dude, that's right. And I pulled its wheel off. <laughs> what an idiot. Everything I touch turns to its component parts. Oh, baby, look at this. God, that is one sexy chrome dome. That is a bit lovely. Yes, that's right. It's these wheels, because they're held on they're held on with like a little um I don't know what you'd even call that. Just a just a like little push dot. And I was just like <laughs> spinning it like a child and it flew off. And I was freaking horrified. But it just popped right back on there. It was fine. There's something very particular about Chrome Dome's colours, isn't there? Because they really shouldn't look as good as they do. Brown and beige and a bit of red. And it's just, it's beautiful. Wilco, thank you. Oh, listen to that. It's singing. It's, it's weird because like the headmasters, like Chrome Dome is the one I have the least connection with. And he's like the most popular one. Because I had Hydrow as a kid, so he's special, but he's not really very good. Because like I, because like I was a highbrow kid, I had highbrow, but I also really loved Hardhead and Brainstorm, and Chrono was the one that I wasn't really into. But like everybody loves him. I get it now. He's like an IDW megastar and that. But at the time, I never got it. But I have to say, high-end Make Toys Cupola version in hand is rather striking. We need to get a little bit more in depth on this fellow. I think this is something else. Wilco, this is unnecessary. <laughs> that brown, it's just so sort of. Leathery and lovely. It's like a it's like a briefcase. He looks like he smells of sandalwood. Wilco Van Winden, you absolute legend. All right, we're gonna pop him back in his little box, and I think we'll do one more and call it a day. What do you reckon? So cool. I can't believe this. I can't believe my luck. I almost can't deal with this, man. Oh, my throat hurts from being so happy all the time. <laughs> all right, seeing as we're here, let's just do this one more. It's very large and very light, so I think there's just gonna be one thing in here. And then I'm gonna go and have a little lie down. Just like the quality and stuff that you lot send me and the frequency that it happens. It's becoming sort of insane. So all right, let's pop this open and see what the crack is. Is the channel going well right now? I feel like I could be doing more, but I always feel like that. I always feel like I could be doing more in every aspect of my life. Let me know what you think. Am I, am I blowing this? I don't know if I am. Oh, oh yes. Yes, I remember this. Dear few, it's me, your boy, Elinstration. It's a bad pun. On what? And then it's spoilers all the way down. So I'm gonna leave it there. So Elinstration, thank you very much mate. Elinstration Robot Reviews. And what we have is, I didn't realize it was gonna be boxed and complete, but it's flipping Titans, oh my God. <laughs> it's just cascading damage. It's fine, it's Sky Shadow, brilliant. This is a bit of a strange mold, wasn't it? I got, um, I was never that impressed with Overlord. He doesn't have that, mwah, you know, he doesn't have that thing. He's not an it bot, but, uh, Oh god, he smells like new toy. This is amazing. That comes off. Is it supposed to? It did on the deluxe one from frickin' 
2011, I think. But yeah, right away, this is way more impressive. Look at this beast. Big, chunky, round shoulders and hot red and black colors. This is more like it. Translucent red on black, that's so badass, baby. That's just the kind of big, generic Decepticon bruiser that I'm way into. He works so much better as a leader class. Like, I love the deluxe one, but this is somewhat banging. Da -na -na -na. Oh, hello. Little, uh, little hand-drawn flipping sky shadow looking slightly, uh, <laughs> looking slightly pensive. But he's all silvered up and looking smart. Very nice. And we have one more thing wrapped up in brown paper. Is it fish and chips? Hello there. This is um, Crossover's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, God. These things are shite, aren't they? <laughs> Oh God, look how sad he is. I mean, these things already aren't great, but do they also have to be super depressed? Uh, I feel like this was not the droid I was looking for. Oh, what a shame. I love his see-through tummy. He's got a little R2 just sunk into his wing. That poor sod. Wait, well, at least Black Shadow was good anyway. So cheers to uh, Illustration, And of course, cheers to uh, Wilco Van Winden for goddamn Cupola. And to uh, Dave Andre for that tiny little Pandora's box of miracles. And to uh, whoever it was that sent us that Gundam Hayaku Shiki. You're too kind. Okay, so cheers for watching, appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace! Random patron shout out! Okay, not a strictly random one this time, but I got a cheeky postcard from Joel Carroll, who's gone and done us a brilliant little Skywarp hand drawn postcard. It's a nice one, Joel. Big love. See you soon. Be sure to subscribe for more Thews Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.